Former mayor of Muncie will be sentenced today on a felony charge. Dennis Tyler pled guilty in May to theft of government funds. This is the story we've been following since 2019. In a plea agreement, Tyler admitted to taking thousands of dollars to steer multi-million dollar city projects to a certain contractor. Fox 59 reporter Justin Kolar follows the sentencing for us this morning. He joins us now to explain what Tyler's punishment could be as outlined in the plea agreement. Justin. Yeah, good morning. The theft charge alone Tyler will be facing carries a maximum of 10 years in prison, but the exact length of time will be outlined by a U.S. District Federal Court judge later this morning. The plea agreement also calls for Tyler to pay restitutions up to $250,000. You may remember Tyler was arrested in 2019 after the FBI served a search warrant at his home and subsequently indicted him on corruption charges before his eighth year as mayor of Muncie ended. He didn't seek re-election. The former mayor's involvement in the bribe is just part of a larger situation in Muncie City Hall. Tyler is accused of taking money between 2014 and 2016 through the Muncie Sanitary District's former superintendent of sewer maintenance and engineering. She, like Tyler, pled guilty in May. In all, seven people have been charged so far, including a Delaware County contractor and former building commissioner who all lined their pockets through bribery. Post scandal, the new mayor says the city's working hard to get back on track. This is what he told us back in May. We've put in ordinances that, com that uh, adjusted and tightened how bids and quotes are done. Uh, we've made that whole process transparent. Uh, we have, uh, we apply, we put in all new appointees, um, so not one person remained. We required ethics trainings for employees, and, and those did occur in 2020. Tyler will be sentenced this afternoon at 1 o'clock downtown Indianapolis in the U.S. Courthouse on Ohio Street. We'll have updates for you throughout the day, both on air and online, so be sure to stay with us. In the newsroom, I'm Justin Kolar, Fox 59 News.